Okay, so this tutorial is to show you how to do selective color in Final Cut Pro 10. Basically how to go from this to this. Okay, so first thing you want to do is grab your clip. In, our, in this case, it was a boat I took from over the summer. And you want to go to, go. So you want to go to show a color board. You also want to view your vector scopes and histograms. So first thing you want to do is adjust for your tonal range. You want to make sure that your highlights are brought down to about the 100 line. Your blacks as well, you want to bring down, get your contrast in there. And make sure your blacks are just touching that zero line. <coughs> Although blacks are more subjective, you can go below if you want to clip them, you can go higher. It's really all up to you, but for the most part, bring them down to the zero line. All right, same time, you got to fix your highlights. Okay, now, as far as the coloring goes, you wanna to go to your effects, you wanna to go to color, you wanna to go to color correction, you drag and drop. And what that does is it opens a new color correction board. Now what you wanna do is actually we can get rid of this, we'll hide that, get a full view in there. So you go to color board, you go right up here where you can see this icon. You click that and you go add color mask. What that is, is basically your selective color. So we'll go in, zoom in a little bit. We'll pick out what we want, in which case this is the boat. And what you can do is you can kind of drag out until you get most of what you're going after. It looks about okay. And then you want to go here and this feathers it out a little bit. So we'll feather that out. And now you can go in <coughs> to your color and you can adjust to whatever your heart's desire. Now we'll go to match that clip that we had before. Had it at 90 and 90. Looks about okay. Now, anything that was that color that's selected is going to affect anything else in the image that is that color. So you can see a little bit in the water where that is. That can kind of be fixed though by going to your softness and adjusting for it. Really, I find there's kind of a happy medium. And this is more just for general purpose of showing you how it works. All right, so now we can make that fit. And there's your color correction, selective color. So now you have a green boat. Um, what you can also do, just show you there, to get that sky and the punchy colors, is you want to go to color correction again. You want to drag another one on top. That'll open another color correction. And you want to click on that little icon, but this time we're gonna to go to add shape mask. What that does is that'll bring up kind of a shape um, that you can adjust. I like to go square, square it out, kind of open it up. You can drag it, drag it up here, for example. You can almost do like a gradient image. So we'll drag it out to the edges and we'll feather it right down. Actually, we'll keep it there. We'll bring this down a little bit and we'll open it up. And now, basically you just go to your color board under the color correction that you had selected. You go to your exposure. Make sure inside is selected because that'll be what's inside the box here. And now you can kind of just Adjust whatever you like. You can bring this down, kind of 
just adjust until you like what you see. I kind of like that there, but I don't like how the color is in the sky. So we can kind of play with that a little bit. Yeah, I'm not going to be too picky here, just for show, right? So, all right. If you want to go even further, let's get another one in there. Go again, add shape mask, square it out. This time we're going to bring it down. We want to make that sailboat pop a little bit. So we'll kind of do that, stretch it out. Align it, we'll feather it right out. And then we'll go back into color correction and bring it down a little bit on the inside. Now you can click outside. What that's gonna do is it gonna, it's gonna affect everything outside of that box. Pretty self-explanatory, but some people may not know that. And I can really darken down the sky, darken down the water, anything. If you want to make it a little bit more punchy, I want to get some effect in here though. Looks okay. So that's pretty much it. There you go. There you have it. How to do selective color in Final Cut Pro 10. If you enjoyed the uh, tutorial or found it helpful, um, or if you want to see any other tutorials in Final Cut, uh, leave a comment in the comment section. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks.